Welcome to the Transcelerate Pharmacovigilance Agreement Optimization Process Map Solution. In this video, we will explain how the process map can be used and provide some background on how it was created. The process map provides a comprehensive overview of the Pharmacovigilance Agreement, or PVA, lifecycle, together with helpful tips and tools. Hello, my name is Anna Karina Weibok Simonson and I'm a Global Safety Compliance Principal Specialist at Novo Nordisk. I was a member of the team that developed the process map. Today, I will provide you with an overview and a tour of the solution, as well as discuss what prompted us to create the process map. First, I would like to provide some background information regarding the challenges we face with the PV agreements and the rationale for the creation of the tools. There are many challenges across the PVA lifecycle. For example, ambiguous contractual terms and definitions can lead to compliance issues. Also, the complexity of PVA structures and content can lead to challenges in reviewing and negotiating terms. Because of these challenges, PVA development often involves lengthy negotiation periods and contractual maintenance discussions that may lead to delays and potentially strain business relationship. Through extensive collaboration, Transcelerate developed a process map that provides users with the illustration of the PVA lifecycle and may help to bring more transparency and understanding of the PVA process including for those that are either new to pharmacovigilance or in other business functions. In addition to offering a downloadable illustration for reference, the interactive process map website contains key details and helpful tips for each phase and step of the process, plus additional tools to help improve efficiency. The process map covers both clinical trial and post-marketing product life cycles in addition to multiple product types. The process map was created by subject matter experts with the objective of visualizing the business processes related to the PVA lifecycle. The steps in the PVA process were split into four phases to create a flowchart. Subsequently, descriptions of activities and or helpful tips were identified for each phase or step. In addition, tools were created to address areas where the process could potentially be optimized, thus leading to greater efficiency in the PVA lifecycle. In the interactive process map, the user can click any phase or step to learn more about that part of the process. Bolded steps indicate that there are tools that can be downloaded or links to other solutions, such as the glossary. Let's take a tour of how to access the process map and embedded tools. Go to the Transcelerate website. At the top of the screen, next to the Transcelerate logo, click on Our Solutions. Here you will find the Transcelerate strategic programs under Enhanced Drug Safety. Click on See All Initiatives and select Pharmacovigilance Agreement Optimization to enter the initiative homepage and solutions. The icon in the middle of the screen can be clicked to access the individual solutions. Access all solutions by clicking the orange Initiative Solutions button. A non-interactive circle shows the PVAO solutions. Under this figure, you can click on any tab to access the solutions. The additional resources tab provided supported materials for the solutions. Click on the Process Map tab to access the Process Map solution. Here you'll find a static image of the Process Map. Under the image, you can find a link to download this image. Click on the interactive Process Map hyperlink. This will bring you to a new web page that hosts the Process Map. In the Process Map website, all phases and steps are interactive. Clicking on any phase or step of the Process Map will enable you to find detailed information and or helpful tips about the phase or step. As stated previously, phases or steps with the bold outline indicate that additional tools or links to other PVAO solutions are available. 
let's take a look at one of the bold outlined steps. Click on the Know and Engage Stakeholders step under phase one. You can see that clicking this step opened new information below. Scrolling down a little under the information bar, further details and helpful tips are provided to the user. Below this, you find the tools and resources bar, which will list hyperlinks to tools or other links to the solution web pages where available. In this case, click on the here hyperlink, which will take you to a process map efficiency tool. When you click this hyperlink for any efficiency tool, a pop-up box will appear that gives you a description of the problem and solution for that specific tool. Clicking the orange download box will download the file to the tray or open directly, depending on your browser settings. Where these links point to another PVA solution, IG, the glossary, the link will take you directly to the solution web page without a pop-up box. It may be helpful to note that there are navigation errors at the bottom of the web page. These errors will help the user to easily move sequentially from one step to the next or previous without the need to click on the process map at the top of the web page. Let's take a look on two examples of how the process map can be used throughout the PVA process. Using the example we reviewed in the navigation video, the pharmacovigilance function was not involved in negotiating or drafting the main agreement. As a result, PVA drafting was started too late, caused time pressure during negotiation and delayed the project. The team would like to educate non-PV functions on the importance of involving PV functions early to potentially help delay in finalizing future agreements. The team decided to use the pre-PVA involvement of PV function slide deck to communicate the importance and benefit of involving PV early and risk of not doing so. Using the socialization deck as a training tool, the PVA team was able to help the commercial and business development functions understand how PV can help the company maintain project timelines. As a result, there was improved involvement of PV function during main agreement drafting. There were no surprises about new business contracts and P PVA negotiation was initiated and executed on time, according to the project plan. Here we have another example of how the process map might work. In our next example, let's learn about how one of these tools could help improve negotiation efficiency. Employees of the PVA team want to organize a PVA negotiation with a partner in a structured way. In the past, the preparation for PVA collaborations has been time consuming and the outcome were often not sufficiently aligned and consistent to support a smooth negotiation. The PVA team decided to use the systematic approach to PVA negotiations kickoff agenda, a customizable PVA negotiation kickoff meeting agenda and slide deck. The deck was used to prepare and communicate the most important items in the PVA negotiation process. Importantly, use of this slide deck enabled systematic front loading of PVA negotiation stakeholders and the proposed structure helped ensure that all relevant parts of the collaboration were presented, such as principles of the PVA collaboration and timelines. The user tool for internal negotiation preparation and customized it for the discussion with the external partner. As a result, the initial discussions enabled both sides to agree on collaboration principles to support a smoother and more efficient negotiation process. Thank you for checking out the process map solution. Like all solutions in the pharmacovigilance agreement optimization initiative, the process map is designed to be flexible and have, has many potential uses that are not captured in this video. We hope that this video provided you with the useful information about how the process map was developed and the ways it can be used. If you have any questions about our initiative and its solutions, feel free to reach out by emailing. 
Any updates or solutions can always be found on our PV Agreement Optimization Initiative page on the Transcelerate web website. Lastly, if you use the process map or any other solution, we would love to hear about your experience. You can reach out to us by visiting our homepage at shareyourimplementationexperience.com. Good luck with your future PVA developments.